until the first term of the record, I had like a bunch of songs written, so it was one of those things where I had a lot of material to pull from, and so the past year I had some tunes to pull from, but um, these are like where I think are the best, and rather than making like a long album that was watered down, I wanted to make like a short EP that was real condensed. And, uh, Not, not to knock any of the studio, other studios in town, but to me, like Archer is the only studio in town. I mean, I've been in, a, I've been in pretty much every recording studio in Columbia to do work, and uh, they, uh, by, they have excellent equipment. Um, they have Kenny is by far, in my opinion, the best engineer and producer in Columbia. Um, his ideas are tremendous. He works fast. He's patient. Um, he's got such great gear, especially for a guitar player like me. Um, you know, I could just go on and on. Professionalism, on down the line, everything about them is top notch. They, to me, they're of all the artists that are in town, the, the hippest ones are, are at Archer, and the best sound projects are coming out of Archer. You gotta think what the audience wants to hear, you know. They want a, a melody they could latch on to, they want a song that they could latch on to. So you gotta think about what your audience is. If your audience is like really artsy, 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 like or, or snobbish musicians or really great musicians, you know, whatever, then you need to target that audience. If your audience is the broad general audience, then you've got to like you've got to think in terms of what your audience wants to hear. Great question. I, I really don't think I have a choice. Um, it's uh, you know once I discovered once I discovered the guitar, I just couldn't put it down. You know, and I. I just don't, I don't think I have a choice, man. I, I can't escape it. I've never been able to escape it my whole life. At one point, Robert Newton confirmed me in the street. He ran, he literally, I was walking down the street, I quit taking lessons with him. I don't take it two months with him. He chased me down the street, and he's a big dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> he's going, dog! He's like yelling at me down the street, and I'm like, turn around, I'm like, oh my God, Robert's running! And then, uh, <laughs> And then he was like, dude, what are you doing with your life, man? I was like, man, I'm just, uh, you know, going to school, trying to get a real job, you know. And he actually made me believe in myself, made me believe that I could actually, like, make a career out of music. And that's what I try to teach my students. Like, look, man, you know, don't go after a paycheck, don't go after a specific job, don't go after a specific education, go after what you're passionate about. You know, if you're passionate about being a doctor, go to law, you know, go to med school. If you're passionate about music, then, you know, develop yourself with it. Because whatever you're passionate about, you know, dollars are going to follow you, man. You know, don't ever follow money. Let money follow you and what you're passionate about. Because it always will. You'll always be comfortable and happy. You know? And so I guess that's why I play music. Because it is my passion. It's my driving passion. And right now my passion is teaching in the music scene too as well. I love inspiring that next generation. You know, I'm not looking to get rich off of Charming Halo. I'm not looking to be famous. I don't care less about touring all year and making millions of dollars. I'm very content where I am in life and I love, I love my wife and family more than anything. And uh, that's, that's really what my focus is. But, you know, if someone were to pick it up and, it, and maybe a million dollars, I'm not going like, to be upset. But it's not my focus. My focus uh, behind, behind Charming Hill is to put out music that I love, that I play, that will affect people and touch them in a way. And, and, and also that it will inspire the music scene, inspire my students, you know, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, I'm definitely not looking to be famous. <laughs>